Welcome back to my channel, Mostly Paper Crafts. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the November Scrapbook and Cards Today sampler and all the stuff I'm gonna make with it. Usually I end up making between 10 and 20 projects and I have a feeling that today will be no different. This is the November 2021 SCT sampler. I love getting these in the mail every month. It's always such a great value. There's always fun surprises and I love doing these card challenges. So we always get one of these quote cards with the word of the month. My word of the month unfortunately came broken but if I choose to use this on a project I can easily glue this back together. But of course our word is grateful and on the back we can see the different companies that are represented and we can see all of the different supplies that are included. So it looks like most of our stuff is from Pink Fresh Studio and then we've got a couple of things from Honey Bee Stamps and a stencil from Hero Arts. So we'll take a look. So all of this ephemera and these stickers are from Pink Fresh Studio and some of these will make more sense than others on my cards. I'm currently reading. Uh, I'm going to have to be really creative if I'm going to use that on a card. But these would be great in scrapbooks. I have not been keeping up with my scrapbook, unfortunately, but it's on my list. Lots of cute stickers here. I really like these enamel dots. We also get these little gems. These are from Honey Bee Stamps. And Honey Bee Stamps is also uh, included, they've included some paper this month, and this is really neat. So these papers have really interesting patterns on them. We've got the grays and a little bit of brown. I think this one is my favorite, this night sky, or possibly, is it snow? I guess it's up to interpretation. And then of course some paper from Pink Fresh Studios. I really love these muted fall colors. I love that there's sunflowers in the basket of the bicycle. It's so fun to get pattern paper that's double-sided because you, you know, you get twice as many options, but of course I always hate deciding which side to use. Um, and finally, we have the stencil from Hero Arts. I adore stencils, and this is one that I didn't have yet, so I'm, I'm excited to give this a try. But all of this stuff is included in this month's sampler. I wonder how many projects I'll be able to create this month. It's a busy time of year for me, probably for you too, so I apologize it took me a little longer than I would have liked to get this video together get these cards made. I did end up making 10 projects and for my first card I have a small collage of elements from the sampler. We have some of the enamel dots. This banner is actually the one that said currently reading and I just flipped it over and stamped on the back with a stamp from my stash. Popped it up on some foam. I really liked the way that the enamel dots kind of mirrored the polka dot pattern paper here. For my next card, some of the stickers from the kit, including this dimensional sticker. I really like these cardboard stickers. They are nice and thick and hearty. We've got a few of the little gems in here and um, three little strips of pattern paper mounted onto a white card panel. Nice and simple. I think my favorite paper in this sampler was this starry sky and I was able to create two cards with it. This one here is mounted on another piece of pattern paper from the kit. We do have some of those gems in a diagonal here. This thank you die is from my stash. It's one that I got during the card making event from Scrapbook and Cards Today from October. And there's actually two layers of it. So the first layer is just white. And I went and I filled in the thank you sentiment using some glossy accents. And then since that didn't turn out super neat, you know, because some of it would spill over, I put a piece of glitter cardstock on top. And I really thought that that um, brought a lot more shine and interest 
to this card because it's pretty simple. Actually, all of these projects are pretty simple this month. So this is the second card that I was able to get out of that piece of pattern paper. I did just cut it into strips so I could spread it out further. This pattern paper is the same paper that we're seeing in the background here. This heart is actually from the same die that makes this thank you. It just goes around the outside, which is really nice because you get a two for one. The thanks dies from my stash. I did put glossy accents on that as well to give it a little bit of shine and dimension. And here we're mounted on a blue card panel. When you mount your cards on dark cardstock, no problem. Just make sure you put a white insert or a lighter colored paper insert so you have a place to write. Or you could just use something like white gel pen. The next few cards are kind of like a fall theme and I thought it would be really fun to put some jute on these, but I didn't have jute. Well, I did have some kitchen string. This is like packaging string. We just keep it in our junk drawer, but I thought, oh, this actually, the color is not too bad. This should work out just fine. So this thankful sentiment was included in the kit. I have it popped up on some foam. We have the um, kitchen string around it and to attach it it's just taped on the back of the panel and then the whole thing is glued onto a card base so kept this one really simple too but I like this design this one is a slightly different size this is a four by six for my next card using that string we've got the hello fall I wrapped it a few more times around my front card panel here hello fall is popped up on some foam to give it some dimension. I really like this brown pattern paper, and this was actually the paper that inspired me to try to find some jute in the house. Um, it, it does match pretty well with this string, so I thought that turned out okay. This card is mounted onto a craft card base, and I really like the string and this brown paper with the craft. This other paper in the background here is also from the kit, and I loved those flowers that look like they're stamped and not colored in. A grateful card with some more of that string. I loved this brown wood grain paper. I thought it matched really well with several of the different papers in the kit. Um, I did die cut a small piece using a heart die from my stash. This has popped up on some foam to give it some dimension. The grateful dies from my stash as well. And this is just mounted onto a white card base. I think this is one of my favorites of the 10 projects. One more using the string. This one just has a single strand here. We've got several different papers from the sampler mounted onto some cardstock. The thank you die is again from my stash. I cut this one out of a nice navy blue and I thought that went really well with the blue in this pattern paper. I actually really enjoy this golden brown with the blue and I think that's a color palette that I'm going to use again in the near future. For my last two cards, um, I was actually inspired by a friend that I was crafting with yesterday. She was telling me about how she makes her Christmas cards and sometimes she just does a front panel and writes the message on the back. And I thought, wow, that would be really great for some of my projects because for one, they take up less space because they're not mounted onto two more layers of cardstock. And for another, I mean, if I'm just writing a quick note to someone, why does it really have to be a folded card base? So I was inspired by her to create these last two. Really simple here. I liked this red square pattern paper. I took two stickers and layered them. I can't remember what this one on the bottom said, but it was not something that would really make sense on a card. So I put it right under the welcome home. And I thought this would be a nice card uh, to give to someone who'd maybe been traveling for a little bit and now they're home. So another thing that I really like about just doing a one layer card is that if you have a double sided um, pattern paper like this, then you still get to see that other pattern on the back. I did cut this center panel out of white cardstock using a Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle die, and that gives me a really nice place to write my message. And then the same idea on this one, I like that you can see the back of that pattern paper. We've got the same white 
panel in the middle. On the front here, we've got a couple pieces of pattern paper as well as some different elements from the kit. I took a scrap of my kitchen string to make a bow and the thanks is um, a die from my stash just cut out of some navy. After I made those 10 cards, this is how much I had left, which is much more than normal. Uh, most of these pieces will go into my scrap pile where they will get used in a future project. Some of these little ones, these are just going to get tossed. But most months when I have time, I like to try to use every little piece. I know I could have made more projects, but time is of the essence and I really want to make this feasible for myself. I want to be able to keep creating and not feel like I have unrealistic goals here. So I still have some leftover from this month and I was able to create these 10 cards. I hope that you are inspired by my creations to make some projects of your own, maybe even trying some of those one layer cards, maybe pulling some kitchen string out of your junk drawer. I really need to get better about sending cards. I made a bunch of thank you cards. I have a lot of people to thank for things in the recent months, so I need to take some time, send some cards, and then it's time to make some Christmas cards. I'm kind of running out of time on that too. I hope that you have some time to do some crafting and get out of here. Go make something beautiful.